Hey guys, my name is Rishav Raj and I'm a second year student at Bits Pilani and this video is because Bitsat is just 10 days away. Today is 23rd June and you may be feeling a little bit of anxiety. Uh, I heard a student and many students feel like this uh, at this point of time that they feel like they're forgetting everything and they become very very nervous. They have studied, they have completed all their theory and uh, maybe have revised once but why is this happening that you are feeling nervous see this is part and parcel of your life that you will feel nervous before an examination everyone feels even the topper feels but it's important that you don't lose confidence because if you if you're feeling like you're forgetting everything it's very important that you go and look upon the main concepts of each chapter and look upon the formulas of each chapter i'm sure if you have studied them you would certainly feel that yeah uh, you can link everything yeah yeah i have rem i remember everything it's just that sometimes it comes in our mind that oh my god i i forgot everything but that does not happen in your exam you will uh, you know remember everything and certainly you'll give a good good exam j mains are going right now and once your j main will be over this is the time when i would say that you should uh, certainly start preparing for bedside once your J is over uh, your first attempt of J means soon the admit cards will also be released and you would get to know where your exam date is where what is your slot and where you will be giving the exams and all it's very important that once your J uh, is over you focus a lot on the bitsat mock test like you should definitely give three to four bitsat mock test because that is really really important because uh, earlier bitsat had 150 questions now it would have 130 question but it's still more than the number what jmn has and you need to adapt yourself to the speed and accuracy that bitsat requires uh, you need to be really really fast and also you need to be accurate because bitsat also has plus three minus one and this negative marking can certainly affect you a lot so it's very important that you focus on this aspect of bitsat and yeah i would say that you should certainly focus on ncrt especially for chemistry especially for that inorganic and organic part uh, you should you should cover it properly yeah if uh, you have prepared for jmn you must have given those jmn pre -YQs, you must have solved them then whatever you mistake you mistakes you have been making in them you should look upon that you should look upon what mistakes you generally make in this mock test and while you are giving this bitsat mock test it's very important that what mistakes you are making in bitsat mock test because like you you would solve 130 or 150 questions uh, you know continuously then suddenly you will make more mistakes and you have to identify in these three to four days that what mistakes you are making you must not make that mistake in the in that bit sad day and yes i i saw a comment uh, saying that uh, is it necessary to give a mock test i would say yes you should certainly give a mock test because uh, you can yourself think that if the exam day is your first experience of that bit sad paper Certainly you will make a lot of mistakes and you will realize later on that I should have solved a mock earlier. So it's very important that you give a mock right now. Also I would suggest that me personally I solved Arihant uh, you know back in the back pages of Arihant there are PYQs as well as mock tests that I gave and I felt that those were very very close to uh, Bitsat's paper. Uh, you can say those are a little bit difficult than Bitsat but still. I would say now they can be like very very similar because bitsat has now 30, 130 question yeah and somebody asked me about mbibe then i would say that mbibe felt a little tougher to me but it had a good experience as a website yeah and i would suggest that uh, you should remember all the formulas right now it should be in your mind every time because formulas are very very important and the important concepts of each chapter you should go through it if you have prepared a short notes then it's really good because in these last five to seven days when there is too much nervousness and anxiety those short notes really really help and if you have not prepared them it's really important that you go through ncrt you go through your notes fastly covering all the major topics don't uh, deep dive into very very deep concepts don't go into them just look up on the major things which you have covered and yeah that would should that should be enough and yeah it's really important that uh, now you should finalize one exam strategy i have talked about an exam strategy every time and i may release one uh, detailed video about it also but yeah you should finalize it you should fix what you are going to do you are first going to do chemistry or maths or physics or whatever your style is or english you should 
you should be confident about that and you should do that and yeah keep your confidence high believe in yourself that's really really important if you believe in yourself then only you can ace, ace these examinations belief is the most important i would say and yeah if you have any doubt you can reach to me on instagram my insta id is rishavraj246 i will give the link here and yeah i hope your exam goes really really good if you have any problems you can just comment it thank you for watching Thank you.